Oh yes, that's how you start the music for an episode on a Aroon. Hello and welcome to part 5 of my Let's Play of Pokemon Platinum. In the last episode, we got to here and we have to go in here. Let's have a team recap before we're, going, we're on the way from, um, I've forgotten the name, but we're on the way to Orberg City from whatever the last place was called. And our team looks thusly. We have Molly the Shinx, who is a lady. Uh, who has a quirky nature, has the ability to rival it, raise the attack if the foe is of the same gender. Okay, so not intimidate, but not terrible either. Uh, rocking tackle, lay, and charge for that powerful electric type move that we do not have. Next, we have Scamper the Piplup with Powell, Powell, Powell Ground, no, Pound, Growl, and Bubble. Uh, has Torrent, obviously, and is a modest nature. And last but not least, we have Lorenzo. Oh, Scamper's level 10, and so is Molly. I don't know if I mentioned that. Lorenzo, the level 11. Uh, what's this thing called? Starly, that's the word. Um, has a lax nature, keen eye for the ability. Has tackle, growl, quick attack, and wing attack. And thus far, is probably the MVP, I would say, of the team. The safest member, I would say, at the moment. At the moment. Right, so we're in Auburg Gate, and you look like a trainer, sir. Hello. That sparkling new Poketch. Your awkwardness as a traveller. Hmm, you're still pretty, a pretty new trainer, aren't you? It's all good. You're a new fellow friend of Pokemon. So let's, let me make a gift of this hidden machine to you. Oh. Very nice. Thank you, sir. That hidden machine, our HM for short, contains the hidden move Rock Smash. Pokemon learning Rock Smash can smash small boulders in the field. But the trainer has to have the gym badge from Orberg City. If you don't have that badge, you can't make a Pokemon use the hidden move Rock Smash outside of battle. Okay, thanks for the top tips. Okay, so that's obviously the way we want to go because there's a trainer there. So we're going to go up here. And we're going to get nowhere. We are going to get an encounter though, which is... A Psyduck. I'm not mad about that. I'm not going to use one. I've already got Piplup, but... Gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all. Gotta catch a all, Pokemon. Can take a couple of hits, I reckon. Thanks for the water sport. Damn, you weakened all of Molly's fire moves. That I was definitely going to use against the water type. It whips his tail back and forth. It whips his tail back and forth. That is the first tail whip we've seen on this series since it returned. Definitely. I'm pretty sure. And there's the second! Lovely! Um, I was going to say I'm going to switch Molly out, but it actually doesn't matter if she faints too much, because I don't think she evolves through friendship, and it's not a Nuzlocke. Uh, but I still somehow managed to go into the Pokemon menu. Let's lob a Pokeball. Let's get me a Psyduck! Oh yeah! I got me a Psyduck. Psyduck's data was added to the Pokedex. Overwhelmed by enigmatic abilities, it suffers a constant headache. It sometimes uses mysterious powers. Um, right, okay, so because we're not really going to be using it, I'm not going to give too much thought to its nickname. I'm going to call it Andre. And the reason, in case anyone's wondering for my stupid nickname, is uh, as soon as I read its Pokedex entry and it said Mysterious Powers, I got Peter Andre's Mysterious Girl in my head, and you're very fortunate I didn't start singing it. Uh, so it's Andre. Andre the Psyduck. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. Uh, I am actually going to go back, heal, and drop off the Psyduck, I think. Just because... Um... We don't need the Psyduck. We don't need to accidentally use him. We don't need Andre accidentally getting sent out. Jubilife. That's what this city's called. Um, and also, I want to be able to use Molly as much as anyone else. And she's quite low on health. So let's get let's get ourselves healed up, shall we? That bottom screen being the team with HP bars is like a constant reminder to heal up. I quite like it. quite like it. Ready? When, did it, when does it go up? Oh. Oh. So it's not their health. Is it their experience? Is it like how close to leveling up they are? 
Oh no. Oh, you have to go off it and back on for it to change. Oh, that's a jip. It should change as, you know, as you heal up, it should change. Uh, deposit. Sorry, Andre, you're not part of my long-term plans for this run. Well, you're not part of my medium-term plans. You might be part of the long-term plans if there's no way we can catch gold ducks. Because I want to complete the Pokedex. I'm not sure how realistic that is at the moment, but going to give it a crack anyway. Going to give it a crack. This music, though. Uh, we'll get through here. Woo! There we go. Okay, so... Dealt with you. You're a trainer. Absolutely. We trainers will accept challenges anyway. It's what we do. That's what we do! Bum, 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 bum. Camper Curtis. Is there a Butcher Curtis somewhere? This is the more camp one. Oh, look. This would be helpful if I actually had an electric type move, wouldn't it? Come on, Molly. Learn electric type move so you can deal with all these Starlies and, and whatnots. Oh, we're getting growled now. Disaster. Quick attack as well. Look at this Camper Curtis with his strats. Master strats by Camper Curtis. We need an electric type move on Molly. We definitely need one. Oh my god, can you stop with the quick attacks? That was a cheap shot. I'd have had way less damage on Molly if you're on a quick attack then. Boo. 84. There we go. Look at that! Ooh, almost Shinx. Ah, okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to switch. I don't think Molly can take on one of her own at the moment. We know it doesn't have an electric type move. Look at her health. It's too risky. Too risky. Although, really, it's going to be like level 7, isn't it? So, she's probably be an okay. Yeah, level 7. Good guess. Good guess. Oh, I was, I was just about to wing attack and then I remember... No, that's resisted. That is resisted. That is not, though. Look at that. Look at that damage. Oh my god, look at that damage. Critical hit. Sit down. Is that the first time since we came back that I've been hit with a critical hit? Maybe. Maybe, baby. Oh, level 12 for Lorenzo. Camper Curtis was defeated. Hmm, insufficiently raised. Is that what you got told by the ladies? Oh, oh, come on. What in Tarnation? Oh, it's another Psyduck. Very good. It's a higher level, and it's a girl. Oh, we've got higher attack then because of rivalry. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay. We can live a crit, unless we get a super high roll crit. It whips his tail back and forth. It whips his tail back and forth. Oh, not quite. Okay, live this. Very nice. However, does mean we're going to have to go and heal again. Unless I just switch Molly down. She hasn't got anything to stab. If she gets something to stab here, I'll go back and heal. How's that? If she gets an electric type move, an electric type attacking move, I'll go and heal. She does not. Okay, so she's no more useful than anyone else at this point. Uh, so we'll put Scamper up front. And we'll mainly run with Scamper and Lorenzo. We're nearly out now anyway, so... To celebrate my getting through this cave, I'm going to battle you. It's such a long, arduous cave, isn't it, love? Like, seriously. How did you ever get here? Picnicker Diana. Bidoof doof. Level 9. Nice. You've been training your Bidoof. Alright, so Pound is probably more powerful than Bubble. Uh, maybe not so much anymore. Let's see what Bubble does. Oh, that does more. Bidoof's special defense must be pitiful. That's all I can think with that one. Depends what the pow attack power of Tackle is on this gen. If it's like 35, then Bubble's 20 with Stab 30, so not much difference. Really? Hmm? Pokemath. Pokemath. Yeah, critical hit. Pokemath on that says, you're dead, son. Oh, so close. Oh, she only had the Bidoof. Well, I guess losing is something to come out to. If you want to. If you want to. It's fine by me.
Okay, don't know quite what happened there. Some technical difficulties with my audio recording. The last couple of minutes where it was probably silent for you guys weren't that dramatic, so I just decided to keep rolling with it. Last week we had the same issue, but I didn't know exactly what I'd missed, so we redid the episode. This week, we're going to try it this way. Let me know. Let me know how much both options suck. Right, so... Let's talk to people. You didn't miss anything in terms of gameplay. I made sure to just not move while I was resetting up the recording. Uh, switch on the PC at any Pokemon Center. Connect to someone's PC and access the Pokemon storage system. That's all you need to do to store or bring out your Pokemon. Thanks. Like I've not done that already. Hmm. What is your favorite kind of trainer? Can you tell me? Which kind of trainer would you like to be? Well, I'd like to be a rich boy. Surely, because I'd like to be rich. So, I don't want to go back to school. I, fun fact, already am a black belt. Um, I'm not sure being a roughneck is like an aspiration. You kind of either are or you aren't. No biggie either way, I guess. Uh, I want to be a rich boy. Yeah. I see, so a rich boy is the kind of thing you like. If that's the case, others may come to see you in the same way. Okay, then I'll just talk to you like, what was that about? What on earth is that about? Someone let me know in the comments what I just did. Yay! I got a pal pad at the Pokemon Wi-Fi club downstairs. Hint, hint, go downstairs. No. Hmm, what or who is this Team Galactic? They make wonderful claims of a dream energy source on one hand, but rumor has it they steal Pokemon from others by force. It's a mystery. They're mysterious, just like my Psyduck. Isn't anyone investigating them? I mean, maybe. Move! You know how you can battle a friend using wireless communications? Well, now you can capture it as a battle video using a versus recorder. Terrific. Cool, you have a versus recorder. So did you go to the global terminal in Jubilife City? Did you? Did you? Uh, probably. I went to everywhere, I think, in Jubilife. I think. Right. Anywho, time to adventurize. Adventurificate. So we've spoken to him. He's just going to take us back to the game. So what's happening in here? Rock or Roark. Rock, I'm guessing. Let's just train our Pokemon in the mine. How nice of him, her, and them. There are eight gym leaders in the Sinnoh region. The objective for trainers is to get gym badges from them all. That means you have to defeat all of them in battles at their gyms. Cool. Gym leader isn't like just any trainer you meet. Obviously, they're a lot tougher. A lot. I'd take as many Pokemon as possible if I were you. No, I'm I'm only taking three. I could be taking like five, but I don't feel I need the other two. Are you catching Pokemon? Here, take this if you'd like. Oh, nice. Nice, thank you very much. Dustball is a Pokemon designed for use in darkness. It works better if you use it at night or in a cave. Okay. Oh, right, technical difficulties, in case you're wondering why I didn't read out that last line of text, once again, it stopped recording my voice. Wonderful. Uh, I do agree with this, though, this person. Uh, I never used to nickname my Pokemon until I started doing Nuzlocks, and it was one of the rules, and then, I, I don't know, I just like it. I don't have to nickname my Pokemon in this Let's Play, but I just enjoy nicknaming Pokemon now. I think it's a fun part of the game. Let me know what you think. Oh, let me know what you think. Did you used to not record? Did you... Uh, Record. Ugh, words. Blah, 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 blah. Did you used to not nickname your Pokemon? Uh, what made you start? Do you still not? Like, have you always? Like, let me know. Let me know what you, your thoughts on Pokemon nicknaming are in the comments. To me, now that I do it, I sort of feel it's a little bit like... Like, I have a cat. His name is Arlo. His name is not Cat. Like, he is a cat. Just like I have a Piplup. There is more than one Piplup in the world. Uh, maybe not in this particular game, I might not encounter anyone else with a Piplup, but if I played online, I might find someone else with a Piplup, or if I went and watched every Let's Play, uh, yeah, every Let's Play of, uh, Diamond, Pearl, and, uh, Platinum in YouTube history, some of them might have used a Piplup, so this is not the only Piplup that exists in the real world. So, yeah, I don't feel it's right to call a Pokemon by its name anymore. I feel like you should nickname them. Anyway, but that's my opinion. Let me know yours in the comment section down below. Uh, what did you say? But he na named our Psyduck yellow because just because of its colour. I don't understand the logic behind that at all. I mean, my 
Ekans usually gets called Elplup because Ekans is snake backwards. It rolls into Arbok, which is Cobra backwards, save for the C being swapped for a K. Um, but you, you get the general idea. But so having a continuous nickname is important, and they're both purple, so I call them Elplup because that's purple backwards. Uh, so yeah, I'm kind of with him on that. You shut up. You let him name his side up whatever he wants to. Right, okay, anyway, on to the next building. I'm going to have a tough time figuring out how long this episode is, because I have had to restart the recording a few times now, the audio. Uh, right. When you trade a Pokemon, the item it's holding is traded as well. That's pretty cool, huh? Means you can send an item as a gift along with your Pokemon in a trade. Wonderful. Stand there. Listen, listen, do you have a Pokemon called Machop? I do not. I would love to trade a Machop for an Abra, but I don't have one. Okay, well, I can't make you turn it, but if you change your mind, I'll be right here waiting. I'll be here waiting. Can you not catch up on this game, then? Oh, is that just one of the pointless in-game trades? Pokemon obtained in a trade grows quickly. But if a Pokemon grows too much, it may ignore the trainer. Of course, it won't matter if you have lots of gym badges. Let me upstairs in this random building. Hello. What even is this building? It's not like a house. It's just people just chilling in a building. All Pokemon have a special power have a special power called an ability. Yes, they do. The view is good from the second floor, but it's a pain going outside. If you don't mind, how about showing me a Pokemon called Geodude? Uh, okay, lazy. My favorite Pokemon ability is my Pachurisu's pickup. My darling, my darling picks up a lot of dropped items without me noticing. Hmm. Hmm. Right. Anyway, so we need to find a Machop and a Geodude, apparently. Have you seen the vents? They release steam from down below. Uh, I haven't noticed any vents, no. I can't, I can't see any vents. Maybe I'm just being blind. Anyway, Pokemon's next. Oh, we've got some funky music again. Pokemon is staffed by a lady and a young fellow. They offer different kinds of merchandise, did you know? This music is just amazing. It's great stuff. The badges that Pokemon gyms give you are a measure of a trainer's worth. By getting more badges, you get to buy more items in Pokemon. Oh, what do you need? What do you need? Uh, we need, don't need mail. Heal ball and a net ball. Okay. We probably don't need those at the moment, but worth knowing. I don't think I've got anything to sell either. Anything that's like valuable that I don't want. Like a nugget or anything. So we'll carry on. We'll carry on. Hello. The gym leader went off to work in the mine. Cool story. When I run around with my running shoes on, I'm the center of attention. At least that's what it feels like. There's always someone looking at me. I'm faster than you. Woo. In fact, she's pretty much walking. Yeah, she's, she's at walking speed. She claims to be running, but she's at walking speed. Right, what are you saying? This is a house. Look at that, you've got curtains on the window and everything. Rock, or Roark, is our town's gym leader. He may be young, but he keeps the mine running safely and efficiently. The fact that he does mining it backs up my theory from a previous episode that he's either rock or steel type. There he is. He's a user of rock type Pokemon. Do you think rock type Pokemon are nice? I like how lumpy they are. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Such a weird thing to say. Like, I'm sorry, it just is. TMs are single use only, but HMs can be used over and over. It's tricky to decide which Pokemon should learn what moves. Yeah, I suppose it can be. Up ahead, there's a huge mountain that tells above everything. Divides Sinnoh into two distinct halves. Mm, cool story. Ooh, what's up here? What's this? Route 207! Is that a person? Oh, he's on his bike. He's going to teach us how to bike up there. Right, what can we find here? What in Tarnation can we find here? Machop! Okay. Good candidate for Rock Smash. Could also get ourselves an Abra. With it. Use the lay. That's rude. That's, that's unnecessary, that. That's just impolite. I just thought, though, we won't be able to use um, Machamp. Because I can't trade. 
We need it for the decks anyway, so... Yeah, got it. Chop's data was added to the Pokedex. Yeah, it was. Though small in stature, it is powerful enough to easily heft and throw a number of Geodude at once. Oh, right, that's just giving me the nickname. Possibly my choice for the most overrated family guy bit ever, the rock lobster bit. But I'm going to call Machop Rock Lobber because he throws geodudes and they are rocks. Yeah, I think the rock lobster thing is grossly overrated. Like, people act like it's the funniest thing ever, and it's like, it's not even really a bit. <laughs> it's just, it just is, it just exists, but yeah. Um,. But, yeah, that name just came to me. So, here we go. Scamper, use pound. Another Machop. I think this might be a higher level than the one we just caught, called Rock Lobber. Oh, nice and crit. I'm going to catch this one as well and trade it for an Abra. How's that? Sit that in your pipe and smoke it. I don't actually know if Abra is catchable in this game, so we may as well trade it. Oh, I see. Oh, like that is it. Come on. Stay in the bottom. Oh, you little so-and-so. I keep kicking my scamper in the... Let's go with Shin. Let's keep it PG. Come on, the chop. Your mate was dead easy to catch, and you're just being a pain. There we go. First Pokemon that's taken me more than one ball. In the whole game. Well, certainly in the reboot, since I had to redo it. I don't remember in the first time through. Uh, right. You can have... We're trading you away anyway, so I don't care if you've got a rubbish nickname. And because you took three Pokeballs, you'll be in card three. But where the E's have been replaced with threes. Hey, isn't that great? Right, okay, so let's go trade this Machop. I'm not going to go any further. I'm not going to go deal with that bike guy just yet. That is out of town. Here, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You can have three. I mean, three is the higher level, but... Not my original one. Oh, look at this. In-game trade. Go on then, Hillary. Have three. wonder what my Abra will be called. They always come across with nicknames, don't they? Well, they did in Gen 1. I don't remember doing an in-game trade on any game since Gen 1. Oh, this animation's nice. Look how fast we must be going. Oh, yes. Look at that. Okay, that's pretty cool. So, the way we trade is by lobbing the Pokeballs way up in the air and catching the other one. Is that what I'm to understand from this? Weird way of doing it. Weird flex, but okay. Kaza! Because it's going to get stuck as a Kadabra. Very good. And it's got a lowercase na nickname, even though Pokemon don't have lowercase names. Be nice to my Abra. Be sure to look after your Machop in return. Can we... Thanks to Pokemon, I got to be friends with you. I mean... If that's all you're going to say to me for the rest of our lives, you're not a very good friend. Right. So let's go heal up. Oh! Oh! What's Kaza holding? Kaza's got an item. What are you holding? Item. Take. Oven berry. Very nice. Right, do we want... Do we want the chop and Abra on the team? I've kind of been going with like a newer Pokemon kind of vibe. We have not been using old Pokemon. And we're not going to be able to fully evolve them. I think I might box them. I think I might box them. Yeah, they've not appeared on the layout, so you guys probably already knew this. Uh, that this was coming. This the layout is pretty much spoilers. But for the time being at least, we're going to pop them both in the box. 
with Psyduck and Bidoof. There we go. Ah, <sighs> right. Okay, where next? In here, I guess. What is this? Mining museum. Coal mining and you. Indeed. Can't beat a bit of coal mining. I don't have to pay to go in this one, eh? Mining must take a strong mind, not just a tough body. Think about it. You're in darkness, digging desperately through rock. Oh, that sounds awful, doesn't it? It's a little far from here, but there is a city called Eterna City. I've heard a curious person named the Underground Man lives there. With a name like that, he must be an authority on the Underground. <laughs> Whoa! So this is coal? I never expected something this big. And that colour, it really is as black as they say. Yeah, it's, it's black. Coal is black. Wow, the Pokemon that carried this must be terribly strong. Well, how about that? The Oberg mine extends under the sea floor. Fascinating. Hello, hello, how are you? I study Pokemon fossils, me, right here and now. On the verge of a breakthrough I am to achieve extraction from fossils. From fossils I can extract Pokemon, but not yet, not yet. Okay, you're a bit excitable, aren't you? Hello, welcome to the Oberg Mining Museum, thanks. You saying, old man, history of Oberg Mine. You could call it a history of effort and friendship between people and Pokemon. You could, but I'm going to run away before you start telling me it. Right, what are you saying down here? Natural time capsules buried many, many years ago. That's what fossils are. Yeah, I guess. Ooh, what's this? What's in here? You remind me so much of the time I got my first Pokemon. Okay. Are you wearing a red hat? Is that what you're telling me? I always have a rotten time trying to decide which moves my Pokemon should learn. I mean, just give them the good ones and get rid of the rubbish ones. Hey, your Pokemon should use some, could use some toughening up. Why not try training in the Oberg Mine? Why not shut your mouth? Wow, your Pokemon's eyes are twinkling brightly. Yeah, that's my scamper. Seeing that makes me happy. Here, I want you to have this. A great ball! Nice! Thanks. You know how a Pokemon stay inside their Pokeballs? I try to think about what would be the best Pokeballs for them. Um, Luxury ball, I would guess. The Orberg Mine is operated with the utmost care. We avoid causing any damage to the natural habitats of Pokemon. That's what they tell the press. Coal is carried out of Orberg Mine on a fully automated system. Machines do all the work automatically, so it's all very easy. Well, spoiling the illusion now, aren't you? Everyone saying how strong of body and mind you must be. Nope. Wait, wait, was there another person in there that I didn't speak to? Like, to the left, to the left. Hidden person over there. To oh, that's a tree. Excuse me, Mr. Tree. I thought you were a person. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, dear, what's wrong with me? Right, okay. I think I spoke to you. Okay, so that's the mine. Let's see what else is in town. Have we explored everything in town? We've obviously been and spoken to him. I don't think we've been in this house. And I don't think we've spoken to that person in the bottom left. No, we've not been in there. You know how Pokemon have different natures? Like we have diff like we have personalities? I don't think it's surprising to see Pokemon in different colours. It's very surprising, actually, because it's pretty rare. Have you ever seen or heard about differently coloured Pokemon? For instance, a regular Pikachu has a yellow body, correct? Ding, ding, ding. This guy's a genius. Well, the different coloured Pikachu has a sort of orange body. And you're not special, you're yellow. So, just a generic, boring Pikachu. I would be so thrilled if I got a shiny in this ge gameplay, but I doubt it. These vents, ah, these are the vents we'll talk about. Exchange the hot air down below with the fresh air outside. Looking down them gives me the urge to start yelling into them. Hello! It's an air vent that exchanges the underground tunnel's air. It is that. It is indeed that. Okay, I have no idea how long this episode will be once I've added all the little bits together. So, I'm going to call it quits here. I'm just going to uh, heal, even though the bottom screen is telling me I don't need to. I'm still doing it, because that's how I roll. And in the next episode, we will head into Orberg Mine, and maybe there'll be time to take on the Orberg Gym as well. You'll have to wait and see and find out, and so will I, for that matter. Uh, but for now, let's stop. Let's stand here. Right here, on the cusp. On the cusp of Orberg Mine. I like that word, cusp. Uh, right, leave a like if you enjoyed today's episode and if you like the word cusp.
Uh, don't forget to leave a comment uh, in the comment section down below. I asked for your opinions on uh, Pokemon nicknames, but any comments are welcome, as, as well as or instead of those if you don't want to get into an argument or don't particularly have an opinion. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and share with your friends if you think they would enjoy. But for now, all I have left to say is thank you very much for watching. As always, I've been Abaser, you've been amazing, and I'll see you next time.